In the cosmic theater where stars are born, galaxies collide, and nebulae weave intricate patterns of gas and dust, one spectator stands out, the James Webb Space Telescope. Celebrating its first year in space, Webb unveils a vibrant tapestry of celestial wonders, each image shedding new light on the mysteries of our universe. Journey with us as we explore Webb's latest revelations, starting with a mesmerizing portrayal of the star-forming Rho Ophiuchi Cloud Complex. Let's get going. Number 1. Rho Ophiuchi Right. Don't ask me who made up this name, but it's beautiful. The cosmic canvas unveils a portrait where stars are born, vivid and detailed, unlike anything seen before. This mesmerizing image is a gift from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, a celestial observer that celebrated its first anniversary in space not long ago. And what better subject for this commemoration than the Rho Ophiuchi Cloud Complex? What is this cloud complex, you ask? Nestled within the constellation of Ophiuchus, the Rho Ophiuchi is the nearest star-forming region to our blue planet. It lies at a distance of 390 light-years from Earth, making it an enchanting spectacle for telescopes like Webb. Although it may seem like a considerable distance, it's only a small leap in the astronomical context. Picture a celestial theater that is approximately 0.7 light-years, or 6.4 arc minutes across. In the cosmic drama unfolding, the Rho Ophiuchi plays a seemingly quiet, understated role, a star-making factory rather petite in size. But don't let its tranquility fool you. The image captured by Webb is a chaotic maelstrom, a testament to the intense activities within. In this tableau, newborn stars are taking their first breath, their infantile jets cutting across the tableau, striking the neighboring interstellar gas. The molecular hydrogen within this gas responds to the disturbance, glowing in a vibrant red hue. Some of these infant stars show a fascinating characteristic, a circumstellar disk's telltale shadow. These disks hold the raw materials, the cosmic clay, if you will, sculpting the future planetary systems. Amid these burgeoning systems, stars of varying sizes take center stage. Many are akin to our sun in terms of mass, while some are even smaller. The most massive performer on this stellar stage is the star named S1, nestled within a glowing cavern, which is gradually carving with its stellar winds in the image's lower half. The lighter colored gas cocooning S1 is rich in polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Wondering what these are? Simply put, they're a category of carbon-based molecules, some of the most commonplace compounds found in the vastness of space. Through the lens of Webb, the quiet stellar nursery that is Rho Ophiuchi unfurls a dynamic saga of starbirth, offering insights into our universe's endless cycle of creation and evolution. And to think, this is just one of the numerous celestial stories that this space telescope will narrate in the years to come. Isn't it fascinating to delve into the cosmic unknown, revealing layers of mysteries one image at a time? Number 2. Cosmic Evolution – Early Release Science Gaze upon the vast cosmic expanse that unfurls before you. This majestic panorama is an intricate montage composed of several images, captured by the state-of-the-art James Webb Space Telescope. The imagery, collected in near-infrared light, seems to teem with vibrant activity, like a cosmic dance frozen in time. Over to the right of the center, there's an intriguing formation, radiant white spiral galaxies, seemingly caught in a celestial ballet appear to twist and meld into one another. This display of cosmic choreography is embellished with delicate threads of light pink spirals, giving the impression of cosmic pinwheels whirling in a cosmic breeze. Taking center stage are bright stars ablaze with blue radiance, making their presence known with Webb's distinctive eight-pointed diffraction spikes. Now let your eyes wander and be intrigued by an unexpected sight. In the bottom row, second square from the far right. Here, an oddly shaped blue galaxy stands out, adorned with blue and pink glimmers from star clusters. Now, let us delve into the mesmerizing intricacies of this panoramic masterpiece, known as the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, Sears Survey. Within this vast cosmic tableau, the galaxies that primarily lured the researchers' attention were those never seen before. Webb was the first to unveil them. How can we locate them? 
Look out for the minute, ruby red dots scattered throughout this cosmic canvas. The light from these celestial bodies has embarked on a journey of over 13 billion years to reach our telescope. Follow-up investigations using Webb's spectral analysis capabilities led to the groundbreaking discovery of the most remote, active supermassive black hole known, and two additional extremely distant supermassive black holes from a time when the universe was just a billion years old. Furthermore, these investigations authenticated the existence of 11 galaxies from a time when the universe was a youthful 470 to 675 million years old. Ready to be astounded yet again? Webb's efficiency is truly remarkable. It managed to capture each image in this extensive field in less than an hour. The collective result? A spectacular showcase of around 100,000 galaxies. The Sears survey's initial findings have solidified Webb's role as an invaluable tool in our quest to understand the early universe. As the program lead Stephen Finkelstein from the University of Texas at Austin noted, galaxies appear earlier and in higher numbers than any of our predictions estimated. There are so many new mysteries to explore. This field is among Webb's initial observations, explaining our limited knowledge about it. To provide a bit more context, the Sears survey, also known as the Extended Growth Strip, is a deep field survey located in the Boots constellation. Its coordinates are 14 hours, 19 minutes, and 46 seconds RA position, and plus 52, 53, 37 deck position, and the image spans approximately 23 arc minutes. This story paints a mesmerizing portrait of our cosmic surroundings. As we further delve into these data, who knows what additional wonders await to be uncovered in this captivating canvas of the cosmos. Number 3. Dusty Supernovae Picture this cosmic drama, far away in the depths of the universe, unveiling itself for the curious human eye. Within the boundless dark canvas of the cosmos, in a spiral galaxy we call NGC 6946, lie two central characters of our narrative, the Supernovae SN 2004 AT and SN 2017 EAW. But how do we perceive this distant narrative taking place 22.5 million light-years away from Earth? The answer lies with NASA's innovative and groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope, and more specifically its integral component, MIRI, the Mid-Infrared Instrument. What MIRI does is quite akin to providing super-powered cosmic goggles to humans. It decodes the hidden tales in the distant universe by revealing visual evidence of celestial phenomena including supernovae, as is the case here. But why are these supernovae significant? The answer can be found in the very material that we, as well as everything else in the universe, are made of, dust. An abundant quantity of dust was discovered within both SN 2004 AT and SN 2017 EAW. This discovery is monumental, as it reinforces the belief that supernovae were the cosmic dustmen of the early universe, seeding galaxies with the very dust that leads to star and planet formation. Why don't we take a closer look at these celestial marvels, each occupying a panel in the images taken by Webb's MIRI. On the left panel, you'll find SN 2004 Ati, exhibiting a peculiar hexagonal shape, an echo not of the supernova itself, but a unique signature of Webb's mirror and struts. When a bright light source, such as a supernova, is observed, it interacts with the sharp edges of the telescope casting these diffraction spikes. The right panel features its companion, SN 2017 EAW. The range of colors in these images is not merely aesthetic, but serves a purpose. The cooler surviving dust within the supernovae is represented in red, while the hotter dust shines in hues of blue. This is where the unprecedented sensitivity of Webb's MIRI comes into play, detecting these subtle temperature differences of the dust. The dust analysis is groundbreaking. Within SN 2004 EAT alone, researchers discovered more than 5,000 Earth masses of dust, a figure rivaling that of supernova 1987A. That's why SN 2004 AT seems brighter and redder in web images. SN 2017 EAW, currently hotter and with less dust, thus bluer, is expected to cool and look similar to SN 2004E within 13 years. Isn't it fascinating how these remote cosmic events can be predicted? This discovery 
is a significant leap in understanding dust production from supernovae. Since supernova 1987A was detected 170,000 light years away, the NGC 6946 galaxy, home to our supernovae, is situated in the Cygnus constellation. And if you were to translate the scale of the image captured by Miri, it would span approximately 2.9 arc minutes across, which translates to an impressive approximately 19,000 light years. Could you imagine that right now, at this very moment, these celestial titans are out there, painting their stories onto the cosmic canvas, awaiting our exploration and understanding? What other cosmic stories do you think the universe holds, waiting to be read by the eyes of human curiosity? Image 4, NGC 1275 Multi-Wavelength Composite. Allow me to guide you on an extraordinary journey to the heart of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. Our destination is a colossal galaxy named NGC 1275, alternatively referred to as Perseus A, which lies in the Perseus constellation, a tapestry of stellar beauty located a staggering 250 million light years away from our home planet Earth. The mystery of NGC 1275 is slowly unveiled as we peel back the layers of information across multiple wavelengths of light. In fact, what makes the NGC 1275 so intriguing is the composite image we have of it, made by merging snapshots taken from various wavelengths, each providing a unique insight. These multiple layers of data are collected using different instruments. Optical, radio, and X-ray wavelengths, for instance, provide us a spectrum of information. Have you ever wondered how these distinct wavelengths can tell us more about a distant galaxy? Well, each of them has a tale to tell. Images taken from optical wavelengths offer a scenic view of the galaxy's architecture, the swirling dust lanes, blooming star-forming regions, delicate hydrogen filaments, and a sprinkle of both foreground stars and background galaxies, all creating a vibrant symphony of cosmic artistry. The X-ray wavelengths, in contrast, are akin to looking at the galaxy's skeletal structure, revealing what's hidden beneath its cosmic flesh. They present us with a soft, violet, shell-like structure surrounding the galaxy's core, indicating the intense activities around the supermassive black hole at its heart. NGC 1275 is noted for being an active galaxy with a strong X-ray emission, all thanks to this massive black hole. You might wonder, what does a supermassive black hole look like? To be honest, even though we can't see black holes directly, their immense gravity influences the surrounding space, producing dramatic effects that we can observe. NGC 1275 is an excellent example, showcasing X-ray cavities filled by radio jets emitted from the black hole. Radio data, contributed by NRAO's very large array at 0.91m, also come into play here. The radio emission contributes to the pinkish lobes toward the galaxy's center, further enhancing our understanding of this astronomical marvel. Web data, which covers infrared wavelengths, adds to the kaleidoscope of data by displaying infrared images, colored in red, green, and blue. Last but not least, the Chandra data from the ACIs contributes X-ray wavelengths, covering a range from 0.1771 to 4.133 nanometers, equivalent to 0.37 keV. This might sound like actual rocket science. So let's break it down for people with less to no knowledge about this. Imagine we're space explorers embarking on a journey to uncover the mysteries of a distant galaxy named NGC 1275. We have a powerful tool at our disposal, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, floating in the vastness of space like a cosmic detective, equipped with its trusted aid, the ACIUS, or Advanced CCD Imaging Spectrometer. The ACIUS, akin to a spyglass, has a special talent. It can see the universe in X-rays, a form of light invisible to our eyes, which are especially useful for peering into the shadowy regions of space where very hot and energetic events occur. Like a ship scanning the depths of the ocean with sonar, the ACES sweeps across NGC 1275, scanning for X-rays. But not just any X-rays, it's finely tuned to detect X-rays within a very specific range, from 0.1771 to 4.133 nanometers. This is a tiny slice of the electromagnetic spectrum, a world invisible to the naked eye, where light behaves as both a wave and a particle. And in this realm, the energy of these particles is measured in something called electron volts, 
with the ACS detecting X-rays ranging from 0.3 to 7 kilo electron volts. As our observatory captures and records these X-rays, like a skilled artist meticulously painting a portrait, a vivid image of the galaxy NGC 1275 begins to emerge. Through this cosmic symphony of X-ray light, we can observe and explore the energetic and high-temperature events happening in NGC 1275, a magnificent spectacle occurring 250 million light-years away, yet made visible by the wonders of our technology and scientific curiosity. The galaxy NGC 1275 is not just a cosmic spectacle, it's also an active galactic nucleus, AGN, specifically a Seyfert galaxy. This means that its luminosity, in essence its brightness, is extraordinarily high, thanks to the materials falling into the supermassive black hole at its core. Thus, the story of NGC 1275 is not merely a tale of a distant galaxy, it's a window into the dynamic processes at play in the universe. Each piece of data we uncover, each wavelength we explore, takes us one step closer to unlocking the secrets that galaxies like NGC 1275 hold. So when we gaze upon this incredible cosmic vista, we are not merely witnessing celestial beauty, but peering into the very mechanisms that make our universe so fascinating. Now, doesn't that ignite your curiosity about what else lies hidden in the cosmic expanse? Image 5, Markarian 231. Embark on an intriguing cosmic voyage with me, this time venturing to the heart of a celestial object named Markarian 231, nestled in the grand constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Our destination is a galaxy that's twice as far as NGC 1275, sitting at a staggering 550 million light years away. Yes, you heard it right, 550 million light years. That means we're peering so far back in time that we're seeing Markarian 231 as it existed before multicellular life even first graced our home planet, Earth. Just as a lighthouse illuminates the dark ocean, the Webb Space Telescope captures a brilliant star-like glow at the center of this distant galaxy. But what's responsible for this intense brilliance? A quasar, the brightest and most powerful object in the universe, sits at Markarian 231's heart. A quasar isn't a star, but an extremely luminous active galactic nucleus powered by a supermassive black hole. Imagine a beast of a black hole gorging on the surrounding gas and heating it to such extreme temperatures that it unleashes prodigious amounts of energy. That's the quasar for you, a radiant beacon in the cosmic night outshining even the combined light of all the stars in its host galaxy. And here's a fascinating fact. Markarian 231 isn't merely a host to one of these cosmic beasts, but two. Now you might be wondering, two supermassive black holes in one galaxy? Yes, indeed. As astonishing as it may sound, Hubble spectroscopic observations infer the presence of not just one, but two supermassive black holes engaged in a cosmic dance at the heart of Markarian 231. They whirl around each other like celestial dancers caught in a gravitational embrace. This discovery is remarkable because Markarian 231 is the nearest quasar to us, indicating that binary black hole systems might not be as uncommon as we previously believed. In fact, it could mean that many quasars host pairs of these celestial titans, a result of cosmic matchmaking when two galaxies merge together. The existence of these binary systems provides key insights into our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. After all, each galaxy story, including our own Milky Way, is a chapter in the grand tale of the universe. Isn't it incredible that from our vantage point here on Earth, we can glean so much about such distant cosmic phenomena? The universe indeed is filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. What other secrets do you think the cosmic expanse of Markarian 231 is hiding, awaiting our discovery? Number 6. The Web Extreme Deep Field Set sail with me on a voyage of cosmic proportions as we explore the realm of the Web Extreme Deep Field, often referred to as the XDF. Located in the constellation of Fornax, which translates to the Furnace, this image represents a stirring testament to the prowess of the Webb Space Telescope, Envision the full moon in the night sky. Now, focus your attention on an area less than a tenth of its width. Astonishingly, 
This minute sliver of the sky, which constitutes only a 30 millionth of the entire celestial dome, is the stage upon which the XDF plays out. In this seemingly insignificant patch of sky, the Webb telescope, through long exposures, unveils a treasure trove of about 5,500 galaxies. These cosmic islands of stars are not just nearby neighbors. Some of them are so remote that their light started the journey towards us when the universe was less than 5% of its current age. To truly appreciate this, consider the concept of look-back time. When we gaze upon these distant galaxies, we're essentially looking back in time, seeing these celestial structures as they were billions of years ago. The light from these galaxies has taken such an immense time to reach us that we're seeing a snapshot of the early universe. Astonishingly, the XDF image features several of the most distant objects ever identified. These objects are mainly early galaxies, celestial bodies that were born when the universe was still in its infancy. But why is it called the Webb Extreme Deep Field? The extreme is no exaggeration. The image is named after the incredible depth of view that the Webb Space Telescope achieves, giving us unprecedented insights into the distant cosmos. This deep field image is like a window opening onto a sea of galaxies and providing us a glimpse into the universe's past. The beauty of the Webb Extreme Deep Field lies not just in its scientific value, but also in the humbling perspective it provides. It highlights the scale of the universe, teeming with galaxies far older and more distant than we can ordinarily comprehend. It's a powerful reminder of our quest to understand the cosmos and our place within it. So, as we continue to peer into the depths of the universe, who knows what other wonders are waiting to be discovered. Number 7. The Irregular Galaxy Holmberg 2 Embark with me on an interstellar voyage to an enigmatic dwarf galaxy known as Holmberg 2. Resting in the expansive canvas of the Ursa Major Constellation, a comfortable 11 million light years away from Earth, Holmberg II dances to its unique cosmic rhythm, defying the typical elliptical and spiral structures most galaxies adhere to. With a name that may seem more fitting for a Viking warrior, the irregular galaxy Holmberg II offers a unique spectacle. It is not the neatly arranged cosmic city of stars we might imagine when we think of galaxies. No, Holmberg II is a renegade, an irregular dwarf galaxy, a sprawl of star clusters and nebulae scattered across space, an untamed cosmic wilderness. But within this seeming chaos, an ethereal beauty unfolds. The galaxy is dotted with massive bubbles of gleaming gas that illuminate the cosmic panorama. Think of these gas bubbles as stellar nurseries, for it's here that stars are born, a miraculous process that's continually taking place within the galaxy's confines. Each of these gas bubbles houses a tale of cosmic creation and destruction, the birth of high-mass stars within these densely packed regions of gas and dust is nothing short of a celestial drama. As these stellar infants mature, they burst into life, expelling potent stellar winds strong enough to scatter the surrounding material. It's as if each star, in asserting its existence, creates a personal space around itself, blowing away everything in its path. Yet, these cavities aren't solely the product of stellar winds. They also bear the scars of supernovae, cataclysmic explosions that signal the end of the lives of massive stars. Just imagine, each of these brilliant starbursts echoing across space-time, creating shockwaves powerful enough to empty these regions of gas. Thus, the image of irregular galaxy Holmberg II emerges as a scene of celestial harmony, where creation and destruction play out in a ceaseless cycle. An intricate dance of new stars coming to life and old ones meeting their end in spectacular explosions. In every corner of this galaxy, there's a story waiting to be discovered, inviting us to further ponder our place within this vast, beautiful universe. Number 8. A Cosmic Voyage – Webb's Encore with a Galactic Enigma Join me as we embark on another cosmic voyage, as the Webb Telescope revisits an extraordinary yet tiny resident of the cosmos. This fascinating entity, NGC 1705, is a dweller of the southern constellation Pictor, residing an astounding 17 million light-years from our humble abode, Earth. 
Now, NGC 1705 isn't your everyday galaxy. It's a genuine cosmic anomaly. It's small in size, sports an irregular shape, and has recently been the stage of a celestial event called a starburst, which is a rapid, intense period of star formation. Picture it as a cosmic firework show where thousands, even millions of stars, come into being in a relatively short span of time. The unusual attributes of NGC 1705 may seem eccentric, but it is these very quirks that make it and other dwarf irregular galaxies invaluable to astronomers. These galaxies are cosmic time capsules. Their composition, dominated by hydrogen and helium with a dearth of other elements, mirrors the makeup of the primordial galaxies that were among the first inhabitants of the universe. Isn't it captivating to think that by studying NGC 1705, we're getting a glimpse into the past of the early stages of our universe. The image data we have today is a result of carefully curated observations aimed at unraveling the intricate dance between stars, star clusters, and ionized gas in these star-forming galaxies. The ionized gas, often illuminated by nearby stars, provides a glowing backdrop against which this stellar ballet takes place. Interestingly, this isn't our first rendezvous with NGC 1705. Astronomers first peered into its heart back in 1999 with Hubble's trusty Wide Field Planetary Camera 2. However, a decade later, this workhorse was replaced by the Wide Field Camera 3 during the fifth and final space shuttle mission to Hubble in 2009. Equipped with this newer, more advanced instrument, the web then bestowed upon us an even more detailed, vibrant portrait of NGC 1705. Imagine it as seeing an artwork first in a dimly lit room, and then again under the bright glow of a spotlight. The difference is astounding. What's fascinating about the web's recent visit is its ability to observe in the infrared part of the spectrum, which allows us to uncover features and details hidden from the Hubble's gaze. The web can see through the dust that often obscures other telescopes' view, revealing the secrets of NGC 1705 in even more detail. And so, our understanding of this galactic oddball deepens, and with each visit, each observation, we piece together more of the cosmic puzzle, inching closer to understanding the mysteries of our vast universe. Isn't it thrilling to think about what we might discover next? Number 9 the Lonely Spiral. A galaxy with the curious name of UGC 9391, a celestial spectacle also known as the Lonely Spiral. This intriguing destination awaits us 120 million light years away in the constellation Draco, near the North Celestial Pole. The image of UGC 9391 we have at our disposal is like a beautiful isolated masterpiece hanging in the cosmic art gallery. Its sparkling spiral arms seem to dance and twirl on a cosmic stage, their brilliant performance witnessed against a backdrop of distant galaxies. These galaxies appear only as faint swirls or blurred smudges, their distinct features lost in the vast distance separating them from our vantage point on Earth. Adding to this celestial tableau, some much brighter stars closer to home punctuate the scene. These stars, akin to celestial neighbors, exist in the foreground of the image, making them appear more prominent than the more distant galaxies. You might wonder, how are we able to measure such astronomical distances? Well, our cosmic explorers can directly measure distances for objects within a certain range, roughly 3,000 light years. Beyond this cosmic neighborhood, they need to rely on ingenious techniques, much like a mariner using the stars to navigate the seas. One galaxy can help us improve these distance measurements, acting like a natural laboratory, and that's our lonely spiral, UGC 9391. Astronomers have used it to compare two different distance measuring techniques, observing supernova explosions and studying pulsating stars known as Cepheid variables. This journey to determine distances is more than a mere cosmic tape measure. It helps astronomers quantify the rate at which our universe is expanding. This expansion of the universe, a key scientific goal of the Webb Telescope, is a fundamental question in our understanding of the cosmos. Now, UGC 9391 isn't just a tool for scientific investigation. It is also a galaxy of its own right, classed as a spiral type. Its lonely designation belies its significance. But this galaxy, 
remote, elegant, and vital for astronomical research, is far from isolated in its contributions to our understanding of the universe. Doesn't the story of UGC 9391 make you wonder about the countless stories hidden in each twinkling light of the night sky? Number 10, NGC 1569. Our space-time vessel is set for NGC 1569, a relatively petite galaxy situated approximately 11 million light-years away in the constellation of Camelopardalis, named after the graceful giraffe. NGC 1569 is no ordinary galaxy, but a starburst galaxy, a celestial forge where stars are born at an extraordinarily feverish pace. Indeed, its moniker, bursting at the seams, is no exaggeration. For a hundred million years, this cosmic factory has been outpacing the Milky Way, churning out stars over a hundred times faster than our home galaxy. Picture an assembly line of stars, each brought into existence faster than you can even imagine. The result of this stellar production spree is an assemblage of dazzlingly brilliant blue clusters. Akin to vibrant gemstones set against the vast cosmic velvet, these clusters are not just mere twinkles in the sky. Each of them is a superstar cluster, a crowded metropolis of over a million stars. Amid the tumultuous activity in NGC 1569, Three of these colossal clusters shine prominently in the images we have, with one appearing particularly bright due to the superposition of two massive clusters. But what's even more fascinating is that these clusters are nestled within an expansive cavity, a grand amphitheater carved out by multiple supernovae, the spectacular death throes of massive stars. Their energetic remnants have etched out a celestial cavern, a hollow stage for these superstar clusters to put on a brilliant display. In 2008, the Hubble Space Telescope turned its advanced camera for surveys toward NGC 1569, studying the densely packed core and the sparse outer territories of this galaxy. It meticulously picked out individual red giant stars, those elderly stars nearing the end of their life cycles, their faint ruby glow standing out against the backdrop of the galactic canvas. With this data, astronomers were able to precisely calculate NGC 1569's distance, finding it to be one and a half times further away than previously assumed. This led to a cosmic revelation. NGC 1569 is a part of the IC 342 Galaxy Group. The IC 342 Group is thought to be the hidden puppet master, the cause behind NGC 1569's frenzied star creation. Astronomers hypothesize that the gravitational interactions within this cosmic gathering are compressing the gas within NGC 1569. And as this gas is squeezed, it collapses and heats up, triggering the birth of new stars. This is the beautiful, intricate dance of celestial bodies, choreographed by the fundamental forces of the universe, bursting at the seams, indeed. The story of NGC 1569 is one of cosmic vigor and stellar creativity, a testament to the universe's constant transformation and a perfect example of the drama and beauty unfolding in our cosmic neighborhood every single moment. Such is the wonder that the exploration of the cosmos continues to reveal. And the more we discover, the more enchanting the tale becomes. So, what will our next cosmic destination reveal? Number 11. Detailed Starbirth in Galaxy M83 Galaxy M83 Known also as Messier 83, this radiant spectacle nestles itself in the constellation Hydra, situated a modest 15 million light-years away from our own Milky Way. Adorned with the nickname Southern Pinwheel, M83 whirls and dances in a grand spiral design, inviting us into its stellar nursery. Unlike our relatively calm Milky Way, M83 is experiencing a thrilling rush of star formation, especially concentrated in its bustling nucleus. Just imagine being able to peer into this celestial cradle, filled with countless stars at the dawn of their existence. The sophisticated eye of the Webb Space Telescope makes this a reality, capturing the glistening faces of hundreds of youthful star clusters, ancient congregations of globular star clusters, and hundreds of thousands of individual stars. Among these, you'll find brilliant blue supergiants and their redder counterparts, the red supergiants. Peeking through the telescope, we're privileged to witness an ongoing star birth, 
an event unfolding with breathtaking intensity. The youngest stars, their lives only beginning a few million years ago, emerge from their dusty shrouds, carving out pockets of space filled with radiant red hydrogen gas. These cosmic nurseries lend a unique Swiss cheese appearance to M83's spiral arms. With time, these newborn stars muster the strength to push back their birth clouds. Their fierce stellar winds, torrents of charged particles, scatter the gas, revealing clusters of bright blue stars, ranging from 1 to 10 million years old. In contrast, the galaxy's older stars, watching over their newer siblings, lack the same striking blue hue. The drama of M83 doesn't end there. A bar-like feature, abundant with stars, gas, and dust, cleaves through the heart of the galaxy, possibly acting as the primary instigator for the feverish star birth we see in M83's core. This bar, operating like a cosmic conveyor belt, funnels material into the galaxy's center, where the liveliest star formation occurs. Here, the brightest star clusters hold court, adorning an arc near the core. As we continue to probe M83, we also encounter the spectral imprints of approximately 60 supernova remnants, the remains of massive stars after their explosive demises. This number is a staggering five times greater than previously known in this region. Each of these remnants is a silent testament to the galaxy's vibrant life cycle, offering astronomers precious insights into the progenitor stars, the cosmic forges responsible for the creation and dispersal of most of the galaxy's heavy elements. M83's kinship to another galaxy, M51, often referred to as the Whirlpool Galaxy in the Northern Hemisphere, is often noted. Despite their similarities, M83, our southern pinwheel, is twice as close to us as M51, making its star-forming drama all the more intimate and accessible for our cosmic explorations. Hence, the tale of M83 serves as a stunning tableau of cosmic birth and death, a testament to the perpetual life cycle playing out across the universe. Through our window to the stars, we're reminded that our Milky Way is but one narrative among countless others, each unfolding their tales in the vast cosmic theater. What other stories await our discovery in the celestial expanse? 12. The Intergalactic Pipeline, 300 million light years away from our Earth in the constellation Taurus. Here, we'll witness an astonishing cosmic event unfolding a tale of interaction and transformation of two galaxies engaged in an interstellar ballet. Welcome to the cosmic dance of IRAS 033860127, more commonly known as NGC 1409 and NGC 1410. Picture this in your mind's eye, NGC 1410 and NGC 1409, two galaxies once separated, have collided with each other, a cosmic event that occurred about 100 million years ago. What happens when two galaxies collide, you might ask? In this case, the encounter led to the creation of an intergalactic pipeline of material, an artery of stars, gas, and dust that stretches across 20,000 light years of space. Imagine an umbilical cord, an interstellar bridge, if you will, connecting two celestial bodies, pouring life and matter from one into the other. This cosmic pipeline begins its journey in NGC 1410 flows across the vast abyss of intergalactic space and finally embraces NGC 1409, winding around it like a delicate satin ribbon delicately tied around a cosmic gift. How, though, can we witness such a far-off event? Thanks to the ever-watchful eye of the Webb Space Telescope, its ability to capture visible light images from across the vast expanse of space provides us with the chance to glimpse these astonishing occurrences. The pipeline, we observe, is illuminated in the images taken by Webb, the ghostly silhouette of intergalactic transfer etched against the backdrop of infinite space. A closer look at these galaxies tells us they are of a type known as interacting galaxies. Such galaxies, under the vast cosmic forces at play, are engaged in a dance that can last for millions of years. This ballet is more than just a spectacle. It can result in new stars' birth change galaxy structure, and even feed the supermassive black holes at their centers. Such grand cosmic interactions serve as a humbling reminder of our universe's ever-changing nature. The tale of NGC 1409 and NGC 1410, 
is a testament to the dynamic tapestry of cosmic events happening far beyond our earthly perception. Indeed, the universe continually surprises us, doesn't it? Image 13. Black Hole allows its galaxy to awaken the Phoenix Cluster, a gathering of galaxies nestled in the eponymous constellation. The Phoenix constellation, standing out among its celestial peers, resides an almost incomprehensible distance of 6 billion light years away from us. Our focal point on this journey is an extraordinary galaxy cluster, which houses an intriguing anomaly, a weakened supermassive black hole. This astronomical entity, usually known for its ravenous appetite, strangely can't prevent a starburst, a frenzied birth of numerous new stars in the heart of its domicile. Using the powerful lens of the Webb telescope, we have been able to observe the evidence of further cooling of the gas located near the center of the Phoenix Cluster. Why is this noteworthy, you may ask? Typically, the regions surrounding a supermassive black hole are hot and energetic. However, in this unique instance, the presence of cooler gas signals a lull in the black hole's power. Imagine 10 billion solar masses of this cooler gas, scattered along filaments like shimmering celestial rivers flowing north and south of the black hole. These filaments are believed to be the offspring of massive outbursts by the very black hole that seems to be slumbering now. The title, A Weakened Black Hole Allows Its Galaxy to Awaken, poetically captures this scenario. Just as a forest flourishes when a giant predator retreats, the galaxy stirs to life with a multitude of new stars as its supermassive black hole weakens. It's as though the galaxy has taken a deep breath, sparking a cosmic springtime in the very core of the Phoenix Cluster. In this ballet of cosmic forces, we see that even in the seemingly unchanging heavens, there is ebb and flow. This unique phenomenon offers an enlightening perspective into the early universe, the time when galaxy clusters like the Phoenix were in their formative stages. We are, in essence, looking back in time, observing ancient light from an era when our own Milky Way was a mere infant in the cosmic nursery. Thus, the story of the Phoenix Cluster isn't just an astronomical observation. It's a testament to the delicate balance and the ever-changing nature of our incredible universe. With each new discovery like this, we step a little closer to unraveling the celestial secrets of our vast cosmos. Isn't that an exciting thought? As we conclude our cosmic journey through the heart of galaxies and unravel the secrets of supermassive black holes, we're left with an overwhelming sense of awe the universe, with all its mysteries, offers countless stories and breathtaking visuals, from the lively star-forming regions of NGC 1275 to the unusual spectacle of a weakened black hole stirring up a galactic awakening in the Phoenix Cluster. We would love to hear which of these celestial tales captivated you the most. Was it the multi-wavelength portrait of NGC 1275 that painted a vivid picture of the galaxy's heart? Or was it the tale of the Phoenix Cluster and its unusual starburst? Which image danced in your imagination and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey and want to embark on more such voyages, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us keep the cosmic fires of exploration burning. Now, another space adventure awaits. Click on the video on your screen to continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos. The universe is full of wonders, and together, we'll discover them one galaxy at a time. Thank you for joining us, and until our next cosmic voyage, keep looking up and let the stars be your guide.